There's a deadly strain going around Rangers Football Club at the moment, but today there was a different kind of strain. The name was Ryan, and it turned out to be very beneficial for the Glasgow Club. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. Deadly strains, shite strains. What about Ryan Strain? He was the man the day that was sent off for St Mirren, completely changed the game, made it easy for Rangers in what has been a very, very difficult time period. And you just got to sit here and wonder, how would this game have played out if he never did that? He never gave the penalty to Rangers and he didn't send St Mirren down to 10 men. Yeah, we'll have to wonder about that, but here, if buts, maybe his Rangers won 3-0 the day and it doesn't change anything. They're still fucking shite. Um, if it was 11 against 11, who knows what would have happened. I mean, I predicted St Mirren to win. I mean, he did bring Dessers on, so technically it did go to 10 against 10, but they won 3-0. And for people that's fucking sitting out there, I mean, I mean how, can, how can people, like, re realistically celebrate this? The gap's seven fucking points. Rangers are going nowhere. Yeah, we're back into second. Wait, we've ended St Mirren's undefeated streak, and I'm supposed to fucking clap that? I mean, honestly, is that what I, I... Chris Boyd said it before the game. There seems to be an acceptance among, among the Rangers players and a certain amount of the fans that they're just second best. And yeah, you can admit that, but I'm talking about they're just willing to accept, they're not willing to fucking fight to go forward. Rangers have been second best for too long, but these players just fucking sit there and don't do anything about it. Would you agree with that? Oh, hold on, the players are the fans. The players are a of the fan base, think this is alright? Doodling about fucking seven points off in October? Oh, it's alright, keep Michael Beale, he knows what he's doing. Well, it's not alright, but what more could they do today? The best they could do is be seven points behind. I it is, but I'm not going to fucking sit here and pretend it was great. Like some people. It's fucking pish. So what? Be St Mirren 3-0. Seven points behind. Tavernier got two goals. What, what, what is it to say? They're shite. The only players that actually shown anything. Alright, Tav got the two goals. So that's the end of refusing. They're shite. Seven points behind. That's it. No. You get Lovelace, right? Shown something. And he goes, he goes off injured. The only thing I'll say is Davis didn't bring on Dessers for him. That's the only fucking positive at that first half. 1-0 up, but the game was dead. It was it was an awful game to watch. Just like every game Rangers playing. No, remember the days when Rangers used to be fucking alright to watch? Name, when was the last Rangers game you watched and went, ah, that was alright to watch? It's been happened. It's not been this season. Like no, I know. It hasn't been this season. Every, it's like, this game wasn't as bad as Lamasol, Lama right? But every game I, I can just think of, Aberdeen abysmal, Celtic abysmal. And it's not just the ones that lose. Motherwell was abysmal too, but today, I mean, playing what, 60 minutes? 60 odd minutes against a team with 10 men, you'd expect more, wouldn't you? Nah, I think 3 0 flattered Rangers. No, it, like it did. It, it did flatter them. I think going into that second half, start of, I think St. Murren were dominating the first 15 minutes. I thought that as well. But yeah. alright, they only had three shots the entire game. It's not like they were creating much that way, but Rangers are just. They're just. They're, they are dross. Well, can we compare it to how when St. Murren played Celtic last year and St. Murren were leading, and then St. Murren went down to 10 men on the brink at half time? And they just got torn apart in the second half by Celtic. Well, there's a difference, so you can say compare it. I mean, Celtic tore them apart. <laughs> well, yeah, I said compare it, so let's compare it. Let's compare it. I mean, Celtic tore them apart and Rangers just... Limped to a fucking victory. No, nah, and they really did limp. The Seema goal it should have been defended better. That could have been intercepted. And Seema is... And the Tavernier goal had switched off by then, so I can't even tell you what happened. It was a good goal for Tav. Um, probably could have been defended a wee bit better that one. But Seema, you know what? We want to talk about Butland, but Seema, the guy that's on loan, the guy that won't be here next year, is actually showing things. He's scoring goals. Yeah, it's a shame that all the attacking players are in just brought in. He's the only one that looks like he's worth a damn, and he's not a permanent signing. Yeah. I think you're wishing it was Dess or some fucking loan. Oh, uh, Terminate that loan. I would. And you've got Lamb. I mean, what are those two thinking, right? Yeah, when Arnold Swartz now. When you see Lovelace starting in front oh, of them. Be back. And it, no, but Lovelace goes off injured and then McCausland gets stuck off. What are, what are Dessers and Lamb are thinking? They must be thinking we're fucking shit. No, they must be thinking that and you I think. I know, but I mean, they've, 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 no, there's no, nothing else they can think. They can't be sitting there being hard, think they're hard done by. They, but, can't, they can't be sitting there thinking, why is this wee kid coming on instead of me? Uh, uh, they, they must know deep down, yo, we've been fucking shit and. I wouldn't be surprised if club tries to offload us in January. I know, but... It's a fact, I mean... I've seen people argue, oh, there's been no competition for Dessers, that's why he's been shite. So, what about all this? He's getting dropped, is he, well, he going to suddenly come on now and start scoring fucking goals? Come on, man. Poor, but I mean, it's just another poor game. Wait, well, I'll be honest, there's not, much, there's not much competition for Kyogo. Yeah, I know, but I'm not, I'm not talking about Celtic, right? 
I'm talking about Rangers. No, but it's a just, lot of people is comparing it like Barisic, Goldson, Tav have been in that team in no real competition, and th that's why they're allowed to play shite. Like Goldson just doesn't get dropped. You know, but by that logic, dropped. would you not say, well, why is Kyogo not playing shite? Because there's no yeah, real but, competition. Yeah, Celtic, him, but Celtic's got a different fucking mindset. That's that's what it stems back to what Chris Boyd said. Is it Celtic's mindset or is it the players' mindset? Yeah, but if you have players for a prolonged period of time, that quickly becomes the club's mindset. Yeah, but Dessers hasn't been there for a prolonged period of time. Yeah, I'm not on about Dessers right here. No, you did say Dessers. You're saying that... Yeah, well, some people have said Dessers. You're saying the excuse for Dessers being shite is there's no competition? Yeah, well, that's what some but people I'm saying. Des I think he's just shite. Dessers has got more competition than Kyogo does. Aye. The only other player Celtic's got is O, and most people don't fucking rate him. Problem is, uh, leadership comes from the top, and, you know, when you've got captain... Vice and Captain Tav, maybe you've seen them and went, here, those guys play shite and can play it every week, maybe I'm going to replicate that and play every week. But here, Tav, he just scored a pen, he scored a really good goal, and he, he whipped the ball over for Raskin to square it to Seema. So Tav today, you know, he gets the he gets the, what, the shabby assist, we'll call it, in two goals. My, my problem with Tav is, I would strip him of the captaincy, he's not a leader, right? He's just not. And I think you can maybe play him further forward because Rangers have a width problem and hey, why not play Sterling right back and Tav right mid? She never got rid of the pass and that's a debate for a different day. But yeah, yo, the gap's seven points. I'm happy about that. But for me, even, I don't, I cannot see who Rangers bring in as manager to turn this around. Well, everyone's saying that it was a definite hand, but a definite red card and definite penalty. Well, it was. I mean, the angle I seen, it didn't look like it was deliberate, but I'll take everyone's word for it because everyone's saying it's a clear... Red card, so yeah, but does it matter if it's deliberate? Yeah, it's only matter? no, it's only a red card if it's deliberate. I didn't see it, it being deliberate. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it was deliberate if it's then. not deliberate, it's a yellow card and a penalty. It's if, it's, if, it, if it's deliberate, it's a red card and a penalty. I didn't see what it was deliberate, but everyone's saying it is, so I don't know, I'll take their word for it. I need to rewatch. I've even it. seen Aberdeen fans come in and say it was a deliberate handball and a clear red, so I mean, if that's the case, then I would imagine it was. But I only, I only seen the one angle, and it's just it's hard to fucking tell. You know what? The referee looked at it for quite a while and gave it. So, and, and I only really looked at it once or twice. It clearly hits his hand. His hand is out. It denies. I think it's seen at the back post for him to tap in. So it's definitely apparently, and whatever. Well, it's either done. way, Ryan Strange fucked up his team today because they had a chance to go six points clear. And who knows? Maybe at that point, to the rest. Maybe like, maybe at that point you can actually talk about the possibility of St Mirren. Champions League football. Maybe you could, but it's. It but like now, obviously, that's six, it's a six I pointer. I wouldn't rule it out just yet. I would. I would. I think Ryan Strange should be apologising to his teammates. You just can't. Go, you just can't. In a game where people actually gave St. Man a really good chance of winning as well. Yeah, I did. I predicted 2 1. Why the fuck would you. You just can't really do much with 10 men. No, you can't, especially against the old fans. Unless you're Celtic and you're playing Livingston, then you can probably get away with it. But, <laughs> I mean, other than that, once you go down 10 men, you're pretty much fucked. You're humped. But, uh, yeah, Rangers win. I mean, they go into the international break. Next four games, home to Hibs, away to Sparta Prague, home to Hearts, and then away to Dundee. It's a, it's a tough... It's a tough fixture list coming up. I mean, let's be, I can see Hibs beating them at Ibrox. They also have the Scottish semi-final coming up soon. Yep. That must be the game after Dundee. It is. And then home to Sparta, then away to Levy, then away to Aberdeen. I mean, that's tough. Like, the, the, I mean, the easiest game in there for Rangers is probably what? Away to Levy. Yeah. And that's, that's, a, been a, that's been a location that's cost them problems. It's been a fixture that has given them trouble in the past, but we'll see. I well, guess. Put, it, put it this way, right? See, the last game I'm looking at here is the 26th of November. That's probably before the next international break, or maybe the game after the next international break, but... Are you trying to tell me Rangers aren't going to be more points behind Celtic? There's not a hope in hell. I just can't see it. I don't know. Celtic are getting better. I'm Rangers are just getting worse. I'm disappointed. I was I was expecting St Mirren to do something today and, I don't know, Ryan Strain put an end to it 28 minutes in, so it is what it is. Although, I mean, I guess I should be happy because St Mirren got beat and Hearts have gained a point on them, but... We can give praise to the St Mirren and Motherwell, especially more Motherwell, uh, St Mirren this season, but really, I mean, that's two teams that should have got some, I think, against Rangers. Probably more Motherwell. Yeah. But, here, yeah, you need to see if, you're, see if you're on top against the old firm, like Motherwell were, one each against Celtic. strong referees. Uh, strong referees, but you'll, you'll, that's when these teams need to get, get the results and they've been bought on it. I mean, look at Rangers haven't been much worse in recent years than they are right now, and they're second. And that just sums up the league for me. 
Nah, it's not good. Um, Celtic going to win the league then? Is it done? Yep, it's done. Rangers going to get second? Rangers' worst start since, what, 97, I think? What do you say there's more chance of happening? Rangers winning the league or St. Mirren getting second? Rangers winning the league. Good answer. Ford, who's going to get Ford? Hibs. Hibs. Right, there you go. Um, well, I think that's it then. That's us done, guys. Uh, we've got Aberdeen, St. Johnston at three. It's the last time I stick my money in St. Mirren. You're not having much luck, aren't you? No, oh, fucking no luck. Anyway, guys, that's it. Catch you in the next one. Um, big up near Bitten. Well, Leela Bada. Leela Bada as well. Pray for Leela Bada. Pray for near Bitten. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Till then. Peace.